Action Earth is brought to you by Eneloop, the world's first ready-to-use nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. If there's one thing that we're not going to run out of, it's sunshine. We have the potential to harness more solar energy than just about any other country in the world. Yet we continue to burn fossil fuels like coal to make electricity. Like, come on guys, it's time to see the light. Visiting the Sydney suburb of Newington is a bit of a walk down memory lane for me, but it's also a glimpse into the future. See, this was the Athletes' Village during the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games, but it's also Australia's biggest solar suburb. Nowadays, there's 2,000 homes here, and almost all of their electricity needs are met using solar power, which means when you compare them to a conventionally powered home, these guys, they save about 800 bucks a year. Each of these homes is like a mini power station. The solar panels on the roof feed electricity directly into the home's electrical system. Any extra electricity the residents don't need is bought by the electricity company and fed back into the state grid. Newington homes have also got solar hot water heaters. And when you consider that 40% of a normal home's electricity is used to heat water, the savings there soon add up. Newington Solar Energy Systems save 2,500 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions each year. That's the equivalent of taking 2,500 cars, each doing 10,000 kilometres a year, off the road. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Heating at home is solar powered, like the water heating. Yeah, we've got solar powered hot water. Probably only sun, really, to dry my clothes. If I was building a new house, I'd certainly consider solar hot water. That would be for sure. Solar energy is silent, and it's a resource that's never going to run out. But there are some catches. The panels are traditionally energy intensive to make. You'll need two years of solid use to repay their carbon debt. That is, the amount of carbon pollution created during their manufacture. And then there's the price tag. The government will now chip in up to $8,000 towards the cost of a new solar power installation. But you're still looking at around $7,000 for the most common setup, a one kilowatt system. Jeffrey Cammons is someone who's really putting his faith in solar power. He's already gone solar at home, and now he's looking at going solar at work. You might think there's nothing too out of the ordinary in that, but Jeffrey is a rabbi, and his workplace is a synagogue. Now, I think most people would probably find it pretty strange to think that this could be a solar synagogue. Can you tell me why I decided to flick the switch? It's important to make the switch to being solar because a synagogue is part of the community and the community is part of the world. This world will not survive depleting precious resources that also pollute and contribute to global warming. It's time for us to use natural resources and we as a people and as a community have to be leaders to show that. I know that you've made the switch at home. Can you tell me what has that been like? It's fantastic. Um, and I'm not talking about saving money on my bills. I'm talking about knowing that I'm actually giving energy back to the future and not depleting it for the children that are coming. What would you say to someone who is considering going solar, making the switch? Actually, it's a no-brainer. Uh, we're depleting the resources of our planet and the resources that we use contribute to global warming. Here's a resource that's natural, that's going to be here far longer than us. And it's not even a question of economic reality. It's actually a moral thing to do. And so I would say to anybody thinking about it, stop thinking, do it. Don't waste another day. It's been said there's enough sunlight that falls on Australia each hour to supply our energy needs for an entire year. If only we were capturing it all. Certainly, the more that we think about using clean, unlimited energy sources like the sun, the less we need to rely on burning fossil fuels like coal. Think about that next time you flick the switch.